Every day I do the same thing over and over again, as many other people do, where you wake up and try to figure out what you're going to do next. But sometimes I wake up and I have too many thoughts rushing through my head. And then I start to get frustrated at just thinking of the whole process of what am I going to have to do now? (laughs) What am I going to do next? What is it that I need to do in order to change? And that's primarily what I have been thinking about constantly every time that I get up is what am I going to do today that I need to change and it can be frustrating sometimes but I hope this video can kind of let me get my thoughts out with the way that I'm feeling I'm drastically changing my life and I constantly wonder how I'm going to do that and I'm creating this video as a way to look back and see how much I have changed within the time frame of these past couple of months. I'm going to be very open and this segment is going to be a little bit different. I want to show you this video that I found on my phone. This was taken, I want to say a couple of months before my dad passed away in March. And I already knew that I wanted to change my life and I knew kind of like the things that I would do towards that, but I never really took it seriously. And now that we're halfway through or even more than halfway through the year, I told myself that I didn't do what I said I would do. And last month in July, because we're currently, it's currently, I think, August 2nd. Last month in July, it was very chaotic and I had a lot of moments where I was having mental breakdowns and crying to my mom and crying to my friends and, you know, staying at home because I have so much stuff personally going on in my life, which is another discussion for another day. Um, I've talked about it before about how I'm trying to be better with moving in silence. But yeah, this video that you're about to see was a few months before my dad passed. And and just when I watched it back, it really just changed the way that I want to go about everything now. And that's something that I think is really important. My throat is like clogging up. And usually that happens when I'm afraid to say something that I know is going to make me emotional or that I'm going to probably cry about. And I'm just documenting this because I told myself that I was going to document more of the things that I am processing and going through because I know that things are going to change. And sometimes you do need to have that moment where you can look back and see, damn, how far you've come. And I hate being that type of person that cries on camera, but A lot of people need to start showing a little bit more realistic emotions and empathy because a lot of people lack empathetic skills in this world. And just because I'm crying on camera does not mean that I'm seeking any attention. This is, if it does get posted anywhere, something to showcase that human emotions are real and that they need to be handled. But I have been feeling extremely broken extremely broken and nobody talks about that type of stuff um I feel like I've been broken towards myself towards my family towards my friends and it's not fair towards all of it it's unfair for me to be this broken knowing that I have so many goals and dreams and aspirations and things that I want to do. And I have this heart where I want to take care of the people that I love and I want them to always be able to come to me. But then I keep finding myself being so silent and feeling like I'm cursed and questioning my faith constantly 
and feeling like I'm a bad friend, feeling like I'm a bad family member. And this healing process is so hard. It's hard. And I just keep having to remind myself that I am destined for great things. That great things are going to happen. That I'm going to spoil the people that I love. That I'm going to spoil myself. That I deserve a soft life. And that I'm going to heal in such an amazing way. Where the love that I know I have can be shared to everyone that is deserving of it. But I just want y'all to know that people are going through things. And you've got to treat people kind and be more empathetic and be more caring and show up for those that you really do care about and ask them are you doing okay we have to communicate more and be more open with each other because this world is so nasty it just is and all i can do is hope that things get better all this is to say is that the daily tasks and the things that I need to constantly fix are overwhelming <laughs> from me waking up in the morning, grabbing my phone and scrolling through Instagram before I even brush my teeth is ridiculous from trying to answer emails and trying to answer calls and giving my time and peace to other people when I need to give it to myself before anything is something that I truly need to work on because it's not working in my favor but there's so many other constant things that I know that I need to change and it gets frustrating to say the least and I'm gonna be probably saying that so many different times but I know what I need to do and I get fearful sometimes because I know how chaotic that can be but Life is always going to be chaotic. And I think once I really shake that feeling, I'll be able to handle it a little bit more. But then at the same time, it's like I get so burnt out and drained from having to constantly do these things over and over again, constantly having to change the way that I think and the way that things are. And I don't know if I'm doing the right things. And that's what scares me the most is that. So I've been trying to do so many different things that I like to work on, making sure that these changes come to pass. I've been journaling, I've been manifesting or trying to manifest and speaking things out into existence, affirmations every morning, because I know that there's instances where we try to do things differently in order to enact that change. And sometimes it doesn't work out in the way that we expect it to. But I keep telling myself that if I keep working towards it, that change will happen. But there's a lot of things that I'm trying to change within my life. And I'm at this crossroads where it's like, I know that I can't stand still, that I have to work towards it, that I have to keep doing things in order to be able to have these changes happen. And I think that's a big thing that we all need to realize that in order to change, we have to, we have to move, we have to do, we have to take action we can't just sit still and expect it to happen i'm done chasing things i'd rather just attract everything to me you know they say don't chase attract and i never really understood that until recently when it came to so many opportunities landing in my lap so many things that i've wanted to aspire and get done and i've noticed that more and more opportunities and more and more good things have happened the more that i stopped chasing for them because i know that i deserve them and i know that that's what's going to come and i think it's just very frustrating sometimes when i I know that there is instances where I can't do all the things that I aspire to do. And so what I'm trying to figure out best is what is my next move? What am I going to do in order to enact that change? And what can I do to make sure that the changes are good things and that they're never anything bad? But I know that there's a balance and duality when it comes to so many different things within life. And I'm very excited about the things that are coming but I know that there is gonna be some hardships along the way. And that's just a part of life. But I know that if I wanna change, I'm gonna to need to do all those things in order to 
have those good changes come. And I know for a fact that change is inevitable. It's, it's something that we all experience whether we like it or not. And it always comes with the ebbs and flows of life because life is like a never ending roller coaster of ups and downs and constant changes every day. But I think it's the way that if we come about it in a different aspect, in a different light, we can just continuously push towards good changes and try to change our mindset when it comes to the experiences that we go through and the changes that we go through that might be bad. And don't see it as bad, but see it as a hurdle that you just have to go through. A hurdle that you have to jump over and right now i'm just determined to make sure that whatever i'm going for whatever changes that i'm trying to you know actually accomplish that they're going to come to pass and i don't know what the future might hold i don't know what's going to happen afterwards but i definitely know that right now change is good and i will continuously try to make sure that all the changes that i'm trying to make sure happen are going to happen and hopefully more good things are on its way. <laughs>